Shabbat Shalom, everybody. As we get ready to welcome a new secular year, 2023. I know lots of us are busy traveling, being with family, being with friends. We wanted to make certain we got to gather and welcome Shabbat together wherever we are right now. And at the same time in doing so, give some special people this weekend to be with their family and friends, including Mr. Dennis, Miss Scarlett, both people who take such good care of us whenever we gather at the synagogue for services, and of course our security team. So thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel for Shabbat. We are wishing you a bright one and a very happy and healthy and beautiful and meaningful 2023. Let's celebrate Shabbat right now. We'll start with the lighting of our candles. You've got some at home, please join me. You may want to be a little difficult with me here. There we go. Hope you're lighting yours at home. You can join me here. All right. You can find a candle blessing on page five in our Sidor, and I should point out if you need one, if you don't have one at home, if you go on to our website, ramatshalom.org, you can click on the upper right-hand side where it says services, and you can find a prayer book there. Bring in the light of Shabbat. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Halam Asher Kidshanu Bamitzvotav Bitsivanu Lahadlik Ner Shel Shabbat. Wanted to share a, a beautiful reading that's actually in our Sidor all the way at the end page 815. Each year should be the best year we have yet lived. Each year we are more learned in the ways of life. Each year we are wiser than the year before. Each year our eyes know better the sights to seek. Each year our ears listen with a finer tuning. Every happening is a jewel wrought about the fancy of time. All that we understand of the universe is the setting for each sight and sound of day. The child looks with gladness each year to be one year older. Should not this welcome pursue us all our years? The piling of the years is a richness like the piling of gold. Our years are coins with which we can purchase more wisely at the bazaars of each new season. Our love is more pliant and patient, having been taught by time. This new year, the one we are about to celebrate, is one year older than the last. The earth is more abounding in its growth. The creatures have moved another step in their unfolding. Humankind has left us one more year of art for our contemplation. History is one year more resonant with lessons. The sunrises are one year more familiar and promising. The sunsets are one year less fearful. And the peace of the night is one year closer. Turn with us, if you can, to page 13. As we bring in Shabbat, singing about that peace that we hope fills 2023. Shalom Aleichem Malachei Malachi Elion, Mi Meleg 
מלאכי המלאכים, הקדוש ברוך הוא. בואכם לשלום, מלאכי השלום, מלאכי העליון. מי מלך מלאכי המלאכים, הקדוש ברוך הוא. ברכוני לשלום, מלאכי השלום, מלאכי העליון. מי מלך מלאכי המלאכים, הקדוש ברוך הוא. צאתכם לשלום, מלאכי השלום, מלאכי העליון. מי מלך מלאכי המלאכים, הקדוש ברוך הוא. As we prepare to say goodbye to 2022 and hello to 2023 with great hopes and dreams and expectations, we're going to sing L'chadodi on 40 and 41. And some of us know at the end of L'chadodi, as we bring Shabbat into our homes, it's customary to imagine Shabbat coming in looking like a, a, a bride, something beautiful. I often say like uh, whatever you would imagine peace looking like. I say that as we prepare to begin 2023, we can also welcome into our homes tonight our hopes and dreams and expectations for this new year. Hopes and dreams and expectations that we hope will also be a part of the global community. So think of those things that we, we hope with all our heart will be part of the world in this new year to come. And do your part to imagine them coming in as we sing L'cha Dodi to our homes and the world, but figuring out a way that we can make those hopes, dreams, and expectations actual realities by playing a role in bringing them about. <clears throat> Page 41. L'cha Dodi Pene Shabbat Nekabela Shamor Vezachor Bedibor Echad Ishmianu El HaMeuchad Adonai Echad Ushemo Echad L'Shemu L'Tiferet Velitchila Lecha Dodi Likrat kala, pene shabbat nekabela. If you can, if you want to, you can rise with us on 47, or you can do what I often say we do at home, which is spiritually rise as we sing the last part of Lechadodi, bringing in those hopes, dreams, expectations, the bride of Shabbat, peace, whatever it is for you. Boi v'shalom, ateret b'ala gam v'simcha, u'hu v'tzola ha'toch emune, ha'am segula, boi chala, boi chala, lecha dohudi, likrat kala, Pene Shabbat Nekabela. We turn to page 63. Ahavat Olam. <clears throat> One of the things that I hope for in 2023 
is that the essential Jewish value of love becomes more central to us as a Jewish community and to us as a global community. I know love is often a value that's overused and misunderstood. But if we truly loved each other, truly, doesn't mean that we have to agree with each other, but if we truly loved each other, just imagine the peace that would fall across the face of this earth. 63. Avat olam beit Yisrael amchavta Torah umitzvot chukim umishpatim otanu lemadeta Al Kain Adonai Eloheinu Bishokveinu Vekumeinu Nasiach Bechukecha Venismach Bedivre Toratecha Uve Mitzvotecha Leolam Vaed Ki heim chayenu veorech yameinu, veorech yameinu. Uvahem nege yomam valayla, yomam valayla. Veabatcha lo tasur mimenu leolamim. Baruch atah Adonai, Oheva mo Yisrael. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem, Kivod Malchuto, Leolam Ba'ed. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha, Bechol levavcha uvechol nafshecha, Uvechol meodecha, Vehayu Advarim Haele Asher Anochi Metzavecha Hayom Aleva Vecha Veshinan Taham Levanecha Vedibar Tahabam Beshiv Techa Habevetecha Uvlech techa hava derech, uv shoch pecha hava uv kumecha, uv shartam lehot al yadecha, veha yuletot afot beine necha, uv tav tam al mezuzot betecha, uv yisharecha. Who are the Jews? There were women who sat in the market selling beets and cabbages so their men could study. They were Jews. There were men of Yemen, great swordsmen, guards of the king. They were Jews. There are dark women in India wearing saris Black farmers from Ethiopia. Children with eyes that look different from each other's. All Jews. There are dressmakers and sculptors, thieves and philanthropists, scholars and nurses, beggars and generals. 
There are women who follow every rule of Kashrut and men who know none of the rules. Yet all of us are Jews. Though we are not alike in mind, body, somewhere in the depths of our souls, we know we are the children of one people. We share a history, a hope, and some prayers. We speak many languages. We have heard one voice. All of us, all of us, no matter what we look like externally, no matter the languages we speak, no matter what we believe in our hearts, because even among the Jewish people, we believe different things. All of us stood together at Sinai when our past and our future exploded in thunder and flame before us. The beautiful words in our Siddur of Ruth Bryn. As we look at our own Jewish community, around the world. One of my hopes for 2023 is that we as a Jewish community learn that we are diverse and in our diversity is beauty and in accepting our diversity is our strength. Page 79, Micha Mocha, a prayer that we sing every time we gather together on Friday night. We often say it's, and it is, a prayer that was sung when our ancestors made it to the other side of the Red Sea. But ultimately, at a deeper level, it's a prayer, it's a song of transition of moving from one place to another and realizing and getting to that other place, there is a victory to celebrate. Soon we'll be entering 2023 and we should celebrate the arrival of a new year. Perhaps by singing Micha Mocha, Perhaps by singing some other song that you sing, Old Lang Syne or, or something else. But whatever it is, we mark the transition, God willing, with joy. We sing these words as we enter Shabbat tonight. And may we celebrate with song, family, and friends the arrival of 2023 in the very, very near future. 79. Mi chamocha baheli madonai, mi chamocha nedar bakodesh, nora tehilot o sefele, malachute chara uvahanecha, boke ayam lifnei moshe zeheli anu veameru. Adonai imloch leolam vahed. Venemar kifad Adonai et yahakohu. Ugalomi ad chazahak mimenu. Baruch at Adonai. Gal Yisrael. Enable us God to behold the meaning in the chaos of life about us and purpose in the chaos of life within us. Please give us the strength and help deliver us from the sense of futility in our strivings toward the light and the truth. Give us strength to ride safely through the maelstrom of petty cares and anxieties. May we behold things in their proper proportions 
and see life in its wholeness and in its holiness. Isn't it amazing that no matter where we are tonight, we can, with the help of technology, gather together as family, as friends, as community to welcome Shabbat. Nothing stops us from doing this Friday after Friday, month after month, year after year. We live out the words of Vishamru that says, let Israel's descendants protect, keep, and guard the Sabbath. <clears throat> Page 85. Vishamru v'nei Yisrael Et ha-shabbat La-sot et ha-shabbat Le-dorot am-berit olam Bein yuvein b'nei Yisrael Oti le-olam Oti le-olam V'shamru v'nei Yisrael Et ha-shabbat La-sot et ha-shabbat Le-dorot am-berit olam Ki sheshet yamim asa Adonai Asa Adonai et ha-shamayim Ve-et ha-aretz v'shamru V'nei Yisrael Et ha-shabbat La-sot et ha-shabbat Le-dorot am-berit olam Uvayom ha-shvi Shabbat v'yinafash Shabbat v'yinafash Shabbat v'yinafash V'shamru V'nei Yisrael Et ha-shabbat La-sot et ha-shabbat Le-dorot am-berit olam. If you choose, the silent Amidah begins on page 90 and 91 and runs through 107. We'll take some time now just to pray on our own, meditate on our own, to catch our breath, and then we'll gather back together in just a few minutes to sing and pray some more. <clears> o <throat> say shalom bim romav uya se shalom aleinu ve'al kol yisrael ve'imru v'imru amen Yahse shalom, Yahse shalom, Shalom aleinu, Ve'al kol Yisrael, Yahse shalom, Yahse shalom, Shalom aleinu, Ve'al kol Yisrael. Shalom.
a big word. <clears throat> a word we often say means peace. Even peace, a huge word. What does it mean? Again, a beautiful reading in our Siddur 775 by Herschel Matt. When the blessing of shalom is lacking, however much we have of other blessings, wealth or power, fame or family, even health, these all appear as nothing. But when shalom is present, however little else we have, somehow seems sufficient. I love that short little poem there, that little prayer, because even though it doesn't define what shalom is, it certainly does in a very powerful and beautiful poetic way. We want to take this opportunity to send out prayers of shalom, prayers of healing to family and friends, to ourselves, to Donna Berger, to Phyllis Schwartz, to Jordan Marks, Bernie Margolis, Sylvia Valverde, Shelley Eisen, Janine Schwartz, Murray Simpson, Sue Beiser, Phyllis Stern, Ruthie Rhinus, Lily Stander, Wally Sif, Linda Wachtel, Alberta Levine, Michael Benlea, and Andrea Silver. If you want to say a Misha Beira, feel free in our YouTube chat to add names as we say this this prayer of healing. Mi shebeirach avotenu mikor habracha leimotenu May the source of strength who blessed the ones before us Help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. Mi shebeirachi motenu mekor habracha leavotenu Bless those in need of healing with refua shlehima, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say Amen. We turn together to 120, 121, Alenu, a prayer in many respects of healing as well, a prayer that says it's up to us to bring together all the broken pieces of the world, and bring about some wholeness and play a role in doing that and bringing that wholeness about. <clears throat> Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon hakol, l'atet g'dula l'yod se'er b'reshit, shenatan l'anu Torah ha'temet v'chaye olam, nata b'tochenu v'anachnu korim, u'mishtachavim u'modim, Lifne Meleg Malche Hamlachim Hakadosh Baruchu. And then all that has divided us will merge. And then compassion will be wedded to power. Softness will come to a world that is harsh and unkind. 
Both men and women will be gentle and both women and men will be strong. And then no person will be subject to another's will and then all will be rich and free and varied. And then the greed of some will give way to the needs of many. And then all will share equally in the earth's abundance. And then all will care for the sick and the weak and the old. And then all will nourish the young and all will cherish life's creatures. And then all will live in harmony with each other and the earth. And then everywhere, everywhere will be called Eden once again. The words of Judy Chicago. V'nemar v'chaya Adonai l'melech al kol ha'aretz b'yom ha'u b'yom ha'u yeh Adonai echad u'shemo u'shemo as a community, we continue to reach out and send our love to Susan Gladstein and her mom on the passing of her mom's dear sister, Susan's aunt. Hold them in your heart. <clears throat> reach out to them, send them your love. And of course, to Todd Cliston <clears throat> and his family on the passing of a, of a beautiful lady, his wife, Linda, Linda Cliston. We ask that you hold that family in your hearts as well. We mark yard sites as we come to the end of the year here of Philip Seiger, grandfather of Donna Berger, Maris Yudovsky, the father of Sue Beiser, Peter Blumberg, the brother of Marilyn Kane, Jerry Cohen, the father of Stephen Cohen, Emmanuel Clay, the father of Renee Goldman, Molly Goldman, the mother of Richard Goldman, Gail Goldstein, the mother of Alvin Goldstein. Brandy Ash, the mother of Nora Ash. Gail Goldstein, the grandmother of Alana Hockman. George Holstein, the father of Jerry Holstein. Saul Leash, the father of Aaron Leash. Louis Young, the father of Honey Mayer. Abram Hirsch, the grandfather of Jennifer Pinkert. Bernard Drelinger, the father of Esther Ross, Miles Loring, the father of Ellen Sachs, Rose Wapnowitz, the mother-in-law, Emmanuel Stuerman, Mildred Tokar, the grandmother of Danny Tokar and the mother of Robert Tokar, Bobby Sherman, the brother of Ellen Turco, Milton Fuhr, the father of Laurel Waldman, Helen Goldfarb, Jacob Goldfarb, Jack Goodwin, Charles Gilbert, and Joseph Wasserman. We say the Kaddish together, if you choose, on page 131. Feel free again to type the names of the folks you're thinking about in our YouTube chat here. 131, the Mourner's Kaddish. Yitgadal v'yitgadash shamir Bealma divra hirute, viamlich malchute, Bechaye hon, uvyome hon, uvhaye de hol bait Israel, Bagalau visman kariv, vimeru amen. Yehe shme rabba mevorach, leolam mulal meal maya. Yit parak, vi ishtabach, vi yit paar, vi yit romam, vi yit nase. Vi yit tadar, vi yit tale, vi yit talal, shemed kudisha brichu. Leila min kol birchata, vishirata, tushpechata, venechemata, damiran bialma vi muru, amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shemaya, vechayim alenu ve al kol Yisrael vi imeru, amen. Ose shalom bimromav, huya ase shalom. 
Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael, ve'al kol Yoshvei Tebel, ve'imaru. Amen. May the memory of all those loved ones that we think about <clears throat> only serve as our blessing as we prepare to enter a new secular year together. I want to encourage everybody to pay attention to our social media channels, emails, texts, phone calls. We got lots of wonderful events coming up in 2023. One of the ones that I'm particularly excited about is on January 13th, that's a Friday night. Cantor Jody Rosenthal is preparing a spectacular Martin Luther King Shabbat. We will be joined by a gospel choir that Cantor Jody has been working with to really inspire us. And uh, we have been in touch also with the late Alcy Hastings grandson, sorry, his son, his son, Jody Hastings, who will be joining us that night to speak to us as a community. We hope that you'll join us in person at Ramat Shalom for this powerful event, but check our website, ramatshalom.org, check Facebook. There's a lot of exciting and wonderful things coming up in this new year, and we hope that you will join us for some if not all of the events <clears throat> join us in uh <clears throat> join me in lifting a cup <clears throat> to the end of 2022 to the arrival of 2023 and to a beautiful and peaceful shabbat for all of us baruch atadonai eloheinu melech haolam Bore Periha Gahafen Lechayim. If you got some challah, join me. Baruch Atarunai, Eloheinu Melech Haolam, Hamotzi Lechem in Haaretz. Want to wish everybody a Shabbat Shalom, a happy new year. And we will see you next year in 2023. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Happy New Year.